from the worker buyouts of $20,000 and from tier five, we are getting just as much money in savings as if we had laid off, laid off workers. But if we had laid off workers, we would have added to the revenue problem. We would have put more people out of work. We would have taxed the government by paying un unemployment insurance. And so this is not the first conclusion that you come to when you're trying to save the economy. And whenever there are, po are polls of private citizens and you ask them about the issues that unions fight for, fair wages, overtime, insurance benefits, and a pension system, the public overwhelmingly supports it. But when you ask and poll the public about unions, you get a negative response. Because the idea of fighting for workers, rather than being a worker, has somehow, in our society, been cast upon in a negative light. This administration does not take that point of view. Our Department of Labor, in the last year and a half has collected $30 million in unfair labor practices from employees, the highest amount that has ever been collected in this state. Very close to here, there is a $4 billion project, the Global Foundries Project. And we wrote into this $4 billion project the largest labor agreement that has ever been written in to a contract in the history of this state. Recently, I signed the Warren Act enabling workers who are going to be laid off to be informed in a longer period of time to give them an opportunity to adjust to the problem. We have, in we have increased unemployment benefits from 26 weeks to 59 weeks during this recession. We have increased COBRA benefits from 18 months to 36 months the health care that people need when they've lost their jobs. We are struggling with the difficult decisions, as are you, but we are hoping that we'll take a shared sacrifice in addressing these situations. We are not going to have to always be nice. We're going to have some difficult arguments. We're going to have to have a little tension as I try to balance an $8.2 billion deficit and you rightly try to protect the workers of the state of New York. And that is, these are the roles and the duties that we've all sworn an oath to pay. And in doing that, we will find a way through this difficult recession. So I would like to thank uh, Assemblyman Peralta, or Senator in Waiting Peralta, <laughs> and I would like to introduce to all of you our Secretary of State, Lorraine Cortez Vasquez. Controller with us, uh, Controller Tom DiNapoli is with us today. The Chief of Staff to the Governor and my envoy to the labor community, Charlotte Hitchcock, is with us today. And I would like to close by congratulating a very dynamic worker who, in just a month and a half, is making a big mark not only on the movement but in government as he fights for the rights of workers, the new president of TWU, John Samuels. Yeah.